There were plenty of events scheduled in this weekend in Acadiana, but the threat of heavy rains caused several cancellations. Jamie Angel joining us live from Vermilionville with some good news, though. Tonight, some of those events are going on as planned. Jamie. Jim, unfortunately, a lot of favorites not happening, like tonight's Downtown Alive in Lafayette and tomorrow's Sweet Dough Pie Festival in Grand Coteau. But you might be able to see behind me, things are starting to pick up a little bit here at the Black Pot Festival and Cook-Off. Gates are now open. There's a jam session over by the chapel, and it'll continue tonight and tomorrow. Though it may be a little soggy for campers heading to Black Pot, those looking for live music and tasty food can still enjoy the entertainment out of the rain at Vermilionville. The St. Martinville Pepper Festival is also planning to hold their 28th annual event. The festival is still going on tomorrow. Though folks might get a little wet during the earlier hours of the event, Michelle Broussard with the St. Martinville Kiwanis Club says the funds raised from the festival are too important to the community, and it will happen rain or shine. We've, not, we've made tens of thousands of dollars on this festival, and all our proceeds go to our projects in the community. But don't worry, if you decide to head out to St. Martinville, there are ways to stay dry. Yes, we do have a pavilion. Here in the state, here in the city park, and so there will be a covered area if we need to use, definitely. For a list of cancellations, head on over to KTC.com. Now, if you want to come out to Vermilionville, the music continues. Uh, main stage starting up 7:30. Soul Creole continues uh, until midnight. Picks up again at 11 a.m. tomorrow. And as far as the uh, St. Martinville Kiwanis Pepper Fest, that goes from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. tomorrow. So still plenty of fun to be had. Reporting live from Vermilionville, Jamie Angel, KETC TV3.